Hello everyone. I'm Melinda Neophatic. This is the April 2018 Zodiac Tarot and Channel Messages for Taurus. So let's see what are the messages for you, Taurus, at this time. Words define also oh clear things that you are drawing and the way you feel as you say the words coming out of your mouth today highlight so much the things with which we are both in and out of touch address within the desire and the yin allowing yourself to follow the flame to get to know, to introduce your name, to speak out without a doubt the messages on your heart, the words we do in part. Let it flow, go, all the while you know what you should not know. Blessings are clear. In this energy, you are near, ever unfolding, ever beholding the dramatic effect of love left unchecked. Unconditional abounding on each other's hearts, the words are resounding touching the growth, touching the glow, empowering and brightening right now with everything that you've come to know. Okay. We have visualization at the bottom of the deck and energy coming out. So you've been holding a vision for something for your life. You've got the grounding card, Taurus. And you've been utilizing a lot of energy. I feel that it's time for you to just ground a little bit and let things come around a little bit. Heart healing at the bottom of the deck and grounding coming out. You've been seeing things for yourself in a whole new light, in a way that was not part of your last night. Something different, something new, something coming through for you, something more than you knew before, something for which you are in store. We have eruption of light and drop into your heart. So continually following that heart's guiding through the emotional GPS system, embracing the light that's coming through you right now because you are a light being and your prayers are heard and the universe rushes to respond. Because the minute the question is asked, the answer is also presented or the solution. And the wheel of fortune. coming out of the tarot deck saying what is supporting you at this time is that cycles are ending new cycles are beginning you're seeing great fortune and this is permeating your relationships your finances your own health and beauty and well-being Taurus and you are so beautiful being of that earth quality you are that what sensuality is and things are working out in your favor so you are highly attractive you are attracting the things that you're putting out are coming into being
I feel like you've had some situations where people have come in to your life only to get put right back out to finish the cycles. To stop running in this monotonous and endless rat race of romance in situations with the same face. It just does not change. Every time it comes around, it's the same old game. Letting that go. Is that in romance? Is it in your friends? Is it in your family life? So that's the question What we want to know. But let's see how this experience is coming around for Taurus for April 2018. Okay, first card out is the star. So in your physical realm, in your earthly place, and the things you can see, feel, touch, and taste, you have the star, meaning that it's a wish come true. It's what you desired coming through for you. It's a blessing. It's protection. You are protected as you're going through these major changes. Your heart has a lot more energy right now than your mind. I feel that you're lending more energy to the things of your heart, of your emotional center. You're allowing your emotional guidance system to take the lead in this case. I think this is not is. Hold on a second. Where's my cheat sheet? Oh, this is Awas, a safety. Awas. Awas is letting us know again that we're protected. So that matches really well. It's fitting that I pulled the rune at that time and that that's what we're speaking about because the rune for us for this month for Taurus, as I am a sun and moon Taurus as well, therefore it is for us, is safety. So I feel like. For somebody out there, I'm hearing you're definitely playing it safe when it comes to matters of the heart. I feel a strong energy of matters of the heart on the mind. Heart. We have the word heart. We have the word heart here as well. Heart matters are on the mind. So I feel like um, definitely we're, you're willing to accept the opportunities, but your heart is ready to put itself out there and go for it. However... You say, I'm going to wait for the opportunities to come to me. And so, because you're experiencing this healing and this heart energy and the blessedness and the star energy here all together, you're bringing in um, different situations where you're meeting people. You're meeting different people. You're meeting different, you're trying different things. Some of the stuff that you had tried to do before is coming to its rightness now. So, like if you've been advertising a business for a long time now you don't have to advertise so hard you don't have to put so much into advertising because the advertising you've done has worked and then you just keep up with the momentum shortly that's the big thing is there's picking up of momentum in your heart and in the healing in your life the star card also talks about healing and so the eight of wands is letting me know that you've got a lot going on spiritually I feel like you're going through a lot of shifts. You're being propelled even spiritually. And why? Because you're reaching all of these conclusions. You're seeing things as they are, and you're re realizing where dead ends are. You're realizing where pathways are opening up. You're seeing where the blockages are and where resistance is, and you are open to the solutions to help you get through them. And so as you're going and revisiting some situations that are only presenting themselves for you to move through or continue on that same cycle, I feel that you are definitely taking new choices in different direction to help you end this monotonous cycle 
of running and running and running and running and where we stop, nobody knows and all that junk. You say, no, I'm getting off this train right here, right now. No longer do I continue on that path. And we have the brown gorilla here, and he is looking like a king of pentacles to me. The um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. He looks like a king of pentacles. Some of you have, um, some of you Tauruses have some fire in your chart. And these videos are made for your sun, moon, rising, and northern node, and even your Venus. So um, some of it, some Taurus out there having a strong rising or a moon or some aspect to your chart of fire, um, you're noticing that there's an, an experience or opportunity for you that is directly linked to a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. I feel that it's directly linked to this person. And I feel like you're looking, so are these road blockages that you're looking at, or are they your own hesitations? Have you made some important decision that took some grounding that was like, oh, this is good for my heart. I have been working on myself, and I'm going to just follow my heart's lead because I've gotten really in touch with my heart energy and I feel that you know as you put your prayers out for guidance and direction you get that answer and I do feel that somebody is coming into your hearts for some of you it will be a fire sign person that's really uh coming in and igniting some um inspiration in you to move and act and do and be in a certain way that works for you and resounds and resonates for you, okay? For some of you, there's an Aquarius person in your life who is um, taking up a business opportunity. And so you're just wishing them a lot of best and you're active in helping with their um, starting this business. And um, as far as putting the word out there, letting people know what's available, and um, maybe you help set some things up, uh, do a little um, shout out or something like that you have going on, promoting their, sharing their ads, promoting their thing, word of mouth, um, and, and just supporting yourself, supporting it. This card is from the Universe Has a Back deck, and I just got this. And then we also use the Crystal Reading cards, the Journey of Love, the th um, 3D Tarot, and the Goddess deck, with my own Words of Clarity deck, and the flashcards. So the Universe Has Your Back card says, When I am connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. How beautiful is that? Definitely letting us know that the universe is swift. Spirit is swift to respond to your every re request. So this is you asking to be able to do something different. Why? Because there's something really important on your heart that you want to do. Something that's really passionate on your heart. And you're safe to try these new things. You're safe to interact with these new people or try this new relationship or try this new business. All I know is you have definitely concluded it. This is, oh wow, with the bonus underneath, you have concluded that this is a good way for you to get some um, give and take, some reciprocation, receive some payments and um, display your emotional mastery. For some of you, it may have a situation to do with a give and take relationship with a water sign. See what the whispering words message is for you, Taurus, for April 2018. I feel like there's you're working strongly to bring some things together, bring some um, situations together, and I feel like it's so important that you keep your grounding and when you say your prayers, make sure that your prayers are words of gratitude and thanks, and not. Um, I mean, it's okay to ask for things, but when you mention wanting, wanting is an energy of it, its own. Needing is an energy of its own. So I want to thank you now for my new tra mode of transportation that is just perfect for me. I want to thank you now for my uh, everything in life, all of life coming to me easy and fun and your mercy. I want to thank you now. I'm so thankful and grateful now that all things 
that I will utilize our present for me before I ever reach to grab them. So let's see the whispering where it says idle hours. Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. So emerald is the birthstone for Taurus. I feel like during your idle hours, Taurus, it's a good idea for you to connect with nature being that you are earth sign and you did get the grounding card. It's a very powerful time for you to get out and um, breathe in the fresh air and put your feet on earth and touch the tree and hug the tree and sit under the tree and feel the breeze and feel the sun and see the moonlight and let the night air touch you and um, connect to the earth in whatever way you can because you have some protection i feel that you've been through so many changes taurus that you know cycles ending situations ending that as you've gone through all of this and you're still processing everything you're still processing these changes you know as some of you um feel the need to get into nature because you need that energetic burst of energy that comes from that connection. I definitely feel like you've been doing a lot of either healing work on others or healing work on yourselves. And for somebody that is making them feel like their energy is depleted, I'm hearing for you to remember that when you do the energetic work, it's not necessary that you think that the uh, it, it depletes you because in reality it takes nothing from you your energy is yours and it's a flow so it, as much energy as you put out there is much energy that you receive it's just a processing it's just a processing that you're going through now and i'm hearing that it is beneficial to connect to that love source energy as opposed to connect to the energy of the one that you're reading for because that love source energy is the one that you're reading for but when you go straight to the physical being and connect to that being that's where you're going to feel more of a drain on your own energy from doing this spiritual work and so you can step back from doing that and be more embracing of their story of their healing through the love source connection and in that love source connection that's a constantly self-generating energy so you will feel more energized in doing it that way some things have really come out of your life lately taurus and i feel like some of that is you stepping out of um being a yes person i feel like you're stepping into your power in a very strong way you're really moving more from your heart what works best for you i see you stop and touch your heart and say hold on a minute let me see how i feel about this before i make my decision and it suits you well we are hosting a three-day retreat here in las vegas nevada may 6th 7th and 8th it is an beautiful event schedule with detailed and intimate interaction for each attendee it is a very small and intimate group and it is limited space available because we want to be able to really create a strong impact on the lives of those who are attending so i hope that you'll join us i could do a personal reading for you on anything that's coming out for you during this reading or in your life at this time. I would love to do that for you. There's more information on my website at lphtarot.com. That's lphtarot.com. As in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.